Um, it's a six count indictment. Two of the charges uh, charge violation of what's known as the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, which is the United States government's uh, primary uh, statute for prosecuting hackers. And what those two counts allege essentially is a conspiracy to violate the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act by uh, intentionally transmitting a code that results in damage to a uh, computer, which is essentially deleting data or, 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 or impairing the availability of data. And uh, so there's that one conspiracy count, and then there's a count of actually damaging a computer. Um, and it's not clear to me from the indictment what the damage is that they're alleging. I think it's very paper thin and weak on that point. And then there's essentially four other counts of a, a U.S. statute that was primarily designed to prevent people from uh, selling devices that would allow you to uh, hack, you know, cable services and get free like satellite and cable television. Um, as far as I can tell, this is a fairly novel prosecution under the statute. And what they're saying is, is that the software that he allegedly wrote um, is surveillance software. And they're arguing that under the statute, it was illegal for him uh, to advertise and sell this software and that his unnamed co-conspirator, there's one other uh, co-conspirator who's unnamed, presumably because they haven't arrested him yet uh, or her, uh, basically went into a chat room uh, on the dark web and sold this software for $2,000. And this is a very, very problematic prosecution to my mind. And I think it's bizarre that the United States government has chosen to prosecute somebody who's arguably the hero in the WannaCry malware attack, who potentially saved lives and thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars over the sale of alleged malware for $2,000. Uh, this is just bizarre. It creates a disincentive for anybody in the information security industry to cooperate with the government. They're essentially saying, don't cooperate with us because if you do, you're going to attract our attention and we're potentially going to throw you in jail. I just don't understand why they're doing this.